Well, Stephen, thank you very much. Uh, I'm pleased to be here. Uh, we meet at a time of a government shutdown, which is, of course, the ultimate hood ornament on the political dysfunction here in, in America. And um, so let me talk to you about two things, the noise of democracy and the power of an idea. First, the noise of democracy. There's a deep reservoir of common sense across this country, always has been, that comes with the voice of the people. But most of us understand that the voice of the people is rarely heard with any volume anymore in our government. We have splintered politics, special interests, general discontent in our country. There's a, a crescendo of noise coming from big money in our political system. There's incessant shouting by puffed up politicians. There's a screech of political pundits who tell us what's wrong. But the voice of the people is rarely heard in all of this noise that exists in our democracy. Increasingly, the voices that command attention also, in my judgment, suggest some very dangerous things. Shut down the government, it doesn't matter. Don't pay the debt, it won't matter, it won't hurt. So I, I'm very worried about the voices that are heard, and even more worried about the voice of the people that doesn't seem to get heard. The fact is, the American people are not where the political system is. They are not so splintered. I'm talking about the aggregate, the deep reservoir of common sense. They are not so splintered. They're not so polarized. And so what happens to the American people is, and what happens to our political class, is they receive messages from trumped up polling, from phony, phony grassroots campaigns, from uh, see-through focus groups. And that's all the material that comes in to say, here's how America feels. But it's not really how America feels. So the power of an idea, since the noise of democracy is not the right noise to guide our country, the power of an idea. The power of an idea is to decide that we live in a new age called the digital age with unbelievable opportunities with the internet, with social media. We watch people connect themselves to bring down governments in this world of ours and to raise up governments in this world. In this country, we have an opportunity to use the new media, the, the, the new age of communication, to give the voice of the people resonance. We would enlist motivated and informed citizens across this country to create a message from the voice of the people, to be a guidepost for the direction of this democracy. And the bridge to that opportunity for the American people is something called voice of the people, and is something uh, today called a citizen's cabinet. And so I'm pleased to be here as a part of an organization that says, let's do some things that would be helpful to this great democracy of ours. And I think today is the first step in that direction.